Trazodone is an atypical antidepressant drug used to treat depression. In this mnemonic video, I'll teach you an easy way to remember Trazodone, its clinical uses, and its side effects. Let's get started. For today's mnemonic, we're stepping onto the scene of a traffic accident. The police here have put up traffic cones around the accident site to guide cars away from the site of the crash. These traffic cones are the symbol for today's drug, Trazodone. Traffic cone for Trazodone, get it? Let's move on to talk about when Trazodone is used. It's funny how sometimes in accidents, one car is completely totaled and the other car is just fine. In this case, the totaled car belongs to this lady here who is understandably sad and crying over what has just happened. <laughs> when you think of this crying person, I want you to remember depression. Crying for depression. Because she definitely looks pretty depressed if you ask me. Trazodone treats depression and is classified as an atypical antidepressant drug. With the clinical use out of the way, let's discuss some side effects and adverse reactions seen with taking trazodone. Yeah, this woman here definitely got the worst of it. Not only is her car totaled, but she is feeling a little dizzy and woozy from the accident. This should help you remember that patients taking trazodone may experience dizziness or lightheadedness when they stand up too quickly. This is due to what we call orthostatic hypotension, or a sudden drop in blood pressure upon standing. Educate your patients taking trazodone to stand slowly to avoid this blood pressure drop, especially older adults who are at a higher risk of falling. Falling is a safety issue, and the NCLEX is all about safety. Just use this dizzy woman to help you remember that trazodone can make you dizzy due to orthostatic hypotension, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, the other car here doesn't seem to have a scratch. The driver just wants to get on his way. He's tired of waiting around for the police to finish. So tired, in fact, that he's yawning. Just like waiting around the traffic cones has made this man sleepy, trazodone also makes people sleepy. It is very common for people taking trazodone to experience drowsiness and sedation, so much so that trazodone is actually used off-label to treat insomnia. Therefore, trazodone should be ideally taken at night to avoid that daytime drowsiness, and it should not be taken with other substances that cause sedation, like benzodiazepines or alcohol. Since it looks like this man is going to be stuck here for a while with the legalities of the car accident and the subsequent traffic, he's lucky he had some food with him in the car. He's munching into a large bratwurst sausage. By the way, this bratwurst should remind you of priapism or a prolonged penal erection. Get it? Because this bratwurst kind of looks like, well, you know. Priapism refers to an erection lasting more than four hours independent of sexual arousal. Priapism is a medical emergency because if left untreated, it can lead to penile ischemia. Priapism is a high-yield side effect of trazodone. So just use this bratwurst to help you remember priapism on test day. And that's everything for trazodone. Let's take a moment and review what we've learned. Trazodone is an atypical antidepressant drug used to treat depression. Side effects of the drug include orthostatic hypotension, sedation, and priapism. Looks like traffic is starting to clear up, so I better hit the road. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to check out our other NCLEX mnemonic videos. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.